Recalcitro Gluten Maximosus That's Latin for This shit's gonna kick your mother ass <laughs> Got it cheese whiz The Bone Metal Metal Zone 107.7 The Bone That is Machine Head in the Metal Zone with Imperium Sepultura Roots Bloody Roots before that And Blue Line Cretan from the Red Chord The Red Chord gonna be part of that show With Guar and Job for a Cowboy November 24th at the Regency Those tickets on sale now AEGlive.com But Machine Head gonna be a part of that show With Metallica at the HP Pavilion in San Jose On December 12th Those tickets on sale now at ApeConcerts.com In the studio with me Rob Flynn And uh, Rob Machine Head Imperium, you know, through the ashes of empires, really did not get a lot of chance, did it? Like, I mean, you guys went through a period where people were kind of just like pissed off at Machine Head, and it, what you know, whether it was fair or not, it seemed like a lot of people really didn't want to give through the ashes of empires a chance. And it's a really good CD. Have you have you found that, or am I just like cracked? I have no idea what you're talking about. Really, like, that record was huge for us. I mean, we did. I mean, it charted. You know, 88, our highest charting yeah. on the Billboard charts up till that point. And, you know, it was like a huge, it was a huge renaissance for us, that record. It definitely, you know? I mean, it put you guys back on the map and everything, but it just feels like the blackening is so huge. And then when you hear people talk about Machine Head, they want to talk about the first album and the last album and not so much in between. You think? Yeah, no, not so much. You know, I mean, there's like, you know, there's a couple of loud mouth, like elitist people. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they're the loudest dude on the internet with the longest post. And, you know, they can go on their little tirade on like Blabbermouth or their tirade on like. They're the ones who think that Metallica sold out at Injustice you know, for All. And it's just like, dude, just put a cork in it. You know, mm-hmm. like all those records. I mean, our bomb sold 250,000 copies. You know, so. It, that ain't too shabby, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna, t- I'm not gonna toot my own horn here and be like every single thing that we've ever done is the greatest thing that's ever been. But you know, we've managed to connect to a lot of people, and there's just people out there who just dig the band and don't need to go on the internet and write, you know, seven page tirades on somebody. Well, the invention Twitter, of the um, internet wasn't always the best yeah. thing when it came to that kind of feedback. So you know, we don't, we don't really get. I mean. Th- Burning Red, we had sellout tours everywhere. You know, Supercharger, we had sellout tours everywhere. You know, Through the Ashes, we had sellout tours everywhere. And with the blackening, it's just gone. It's all finally coalesced and gone even to to bigger places. And that's the thing. I mean, if you look at it, our career, you know, it came out and it just went super high right from the beginning. And and we've managed over 15 years and really three uh, entire climates of musical change. You know, if you look when we came out, it was kind of like you know grunge and and uh, like the funk stuff, and then it was new metal, and then it was kind of metalcore or whatever that is, and now mm-hmm. and now that's all dying. And and we basically stayed at the same level. You know, we never really. I know there's, there's kind of like a lot of myth about the fact that we you know, went down, but, you know, the record sales didn't really go down. You know, the tour numbers, if anything, went up and, and here we are and we're still here, man. I mean, we're still here. We're stronger than ever. And our fan base is bigger than ever. And, you know, I think now, not that this means as much to us, but, you know, getting nominated for the Grammy and stuff like that, that the industry has actually taken notice of us. You know, it it says something. Say what you want about the Grammys. It's still huge to be recognized by a a group of people that all they do is this industry. Yeah. I mean, it's it was a huge moment for us to like, you know, and frankly, a pretty surprising moment for us because that song was so pissed. It's it's the first thrash metal song in the (laughs) history of the Grammys to be nominated for a Grammy. You know, like we're stoked about that. You know, it's it's amazing. I mean, and our fans are, you know, we've managed to to keep this fan base and and to grow with it. And, you know, of course, you're always going to have people who just move on to other things. You know, you're, there's no band on the planet who hasn't had a fan. You know, I, I love Black Sabbath, but technical ecstasy sucks. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. never say die. I never listen to it, you know. I mean... I Over like an think, extensive body of work like that, yeah, when you, you can when, still look back and be happy. Totally, man. I mean, we... I've seen the bands that we that were around when we started... They're gone. The bands that we're around when we put out Through the Ashes, most of them are gone. You know, we're mm-hmm. still here. We're still here for, 
for whatever. I mean, we're lucky. You know, I mean, we're lucky that we've got a fan base who's so dedicated, who's so passionate and hardcore about the band. And, you know, we've been given a gift and we've somehow been able to to keep this thing and, and ride it out, man. And so we're, you know, we're just we're loving where we're at right now. It's awesome. Looking back over the history of Machine Head, what would be um, what would be your greatest triumph and your biggest regret? Well, our, our greatest triumphs have still yet to happen. And. I don't regret anything we've done. You know, I have no regrets about anything we've done. We've lived a life less ordinary. You know, we've, I've been playing music now since I was 18 years old. And frankly, as pathetic as it sounds, I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> like, <laughs> this, is, this is what I do. This is, yeah, but as awesome I as live, it sounds that, you know, you've made a living at what you love. Yeah, I mean, and there's been rough times. There's been times when I couldn't pay the rent. There's been times when my wife was paying our mortgage, you know. I mean, there's been ups. There's been brutal downs, and there's been amazing ups. But this is all, this is in my blood. This is what I am born to do. I can't, you know, this is all I want to do. This is my passion, you know, my most passionate thing. I live, eat, and breathe, and dump machine head you know i mean this is this is all and this is what we all live for this is what we want to do and we've been lucky that for 15 years we can that we've been able to survive and prosper doing this and now to have this much uh acclaim and to have the respect of our peers like you know when i read that headfield you know that the latest metallica album was influenced by the blackening i dude my jaw just i like spit coffee all over the <laughs> computer screen i was like what you know, I mean, it's an incredible moment for us, and we're just we're riding this crazy roller coaster, man, and it's and it's been awesome, you know, and it's amazing, and uh, we got the best fans in the world, and we're lucky to have them. And we get to join you for one of those triumphant moments, opening for Metallica, totally. supporting Metallica, I should Main say, support to Main Metallica. support to Metallica, December twelfth at the HP Pavilion. Rob, thank you so much for spending all this incredible time because I know it's a lot out of your schedule with a tour on the way. Thank Appreciate you for having it. Me. It's been killer. All right, we are going to play uh, one of your old bands. A little violence is on the way. It's one hundred seven seven. The Bone. It's the Metal Zone. It's the Bone Metal Zone. <laughs> 